Normally, this office would be extremely busy today because it's the Wayne County Treasurer's Office, and payroll checks for more than 5,000 workers come from here. But for the first time, in anyone's memory, there will be no payroll checks today. Wayne County is broke, and most workers just can't believe that. The employees left work this evening with no paychecks and no assurances that there will be checks next week. The union wants them to continue reporting for work, and the union will try to resolve the whole issue in court. I can't believe it. It's very disgusting. Very disgusting. What are you going to do with no paycheck coming in? No paycheck coming in. Well, I'm going to have to go home and sit down and think of things that I can do. We've had a lot of comments from people coming in, and they have been surprised at the situation. Angry, perhaps? Well, they're not angry. I wouldn't think they've been surprised. Okay, can you hold mine? I'll be right with you. Those employees not able to leave work were making telephone calls to the county credit union to inquire about loans. The union grants about 300 loans each month. Today, it processed an estimated 350 loan requests and workers have been asked to be in on Saturday to handle other requests. We've been quite busy. The last three days have been more than we can handle. Mm -hmm. We're pushing all the loans through that we possibly can. How are they going to be repaid if there are no checks coming for the employees? They'll pay them. Eventually they'll get their checks and eventually we'll get our money. The heads of most county offices say they had full staffs today and expect them to be back at work on Monday. Meanwhile, the county's Board of Commissioners will meet next week to vote on that proposal to lay off all workers, then recall those working in essential services. And there's still no moves by the state to grant the county's loan request. But that could change when Governor Milliken returns to Lansing next week from his tour of China. Bob Bennett, News 4, Detroit.